they should have no requirement, right? Oh, is it because I don't own where it's currently where it's currently located? Let's see. Once I own it, claim the property. Did I do something wrong? Now that basic engineering has been leveled up to level seven, I want to go into the talents. And the talents for crafting are pretty much always the same, right? Either focus workflow doubles the speed of related tables when alone, or parallel processing where you have two tables working together um oh, i'm sorry increases the crafting speed of related tables it could be four tables you know it doesn't matter as long as there's more than one table in the same room um it's gonna you know increase the crafting speed by another 20 percent which is awesome and if you're doing basic engineering to make roads stone roads specifically um it's good to do at least to have two tables set up so i'm going to take parallel processing in this case and then the six level six talent choice again is frugal workspace reducing the the tier requirement of the table or increasing it by 0 0.2 but reduces the resources needed by 10 percent now i almost always want to do this the issue i have right now is if i take this talent at the moment in time when i only have tier one uh, materials. There's no tier two. There's no glass, brick, or lumber in the world yet because I'm by myself. But if you were in a world where somebody has already picked up lumber or has already picked up brick or gone glass by this time, um, then yeah, definitely do that and go get that tier two material. You won't you won't need too much of the tier two block to make that work. So for now, I'm just not going to pick up the skill. And then the same thing for um, tailoring. Uh, level three is going to be working together. You're going to want to work multiple tailoring tables together, making cloth, making cellulose fiber, making clothing. So parallel processing is the way to go. In this case, again, I'm not going to take it just yet because it requires a 1.2 tier room to work properly. But as soon as you level up, and I mean, you know, you're not going to level up your, your skill as fast as I did. I mean, this was in 20 seconds 30 seconds i actually made one water wheel and i think it shot me up right up to like level six or so but once you get your skill leveled up you're going to want to requeue your items right so you cancel them and let's requeue our water wheel and let's make a windmill that i'm going to need anyway because i'm at level seven you can see it's a lot faster now six minutes per and only costs three logs or four logs super super affordable and i could have split the carpentry tables split the work but why i mean i'm in a rush i don't need them right now and again requeue your you know i want to make three more wooden wheels and i want to make four wooden carts perfect and we'll go back to tailoring i canceled the queue because it it finished crafting uh, my three washboards and then I made I think one or two cloth and then I immediately went to level seven so I'm gonna make let's go ahead we can afford to make a little bit more let's make 20 cloth now cancel the queue and let's make 20 cell fiber um, we don't have enough plant fiber for now we have plenty of wood pulp thousand here so let's take that Again, if time is not an issue for you, if you have to go log in, you have to go help out a buddy finish their house, you can just queue it on one table. You don't need to have two tables, but again, two, three, four tables is definitely nice to have. And there it is. There is basic engineering and tailoring in a nutshell, remember. So start leveling up your skill by making big craft items that take a long time so it gives you time to go gather resources for the things you're going to be making as soon as you level up the skill cancel the queue if you had over queued it for instance like i did uh, meaning that i queued 10 of a product i never intended to finish i just wanted to level up while i was gone i didn't want to only queue one item and then i'm gone doing stuff maybe helping a buddy with a farm maybe making my own farm and then it finishes crafting and then has to wait until I get back. No, just overcue. It's okay. Overcue. 
and then cancel will re queue and the same thing both for tailoring basic engineering you know these earlier professions um, that you can pretty much get from day one you could you could wait to take a profession you don't have to start with carpentry you don't have to start with masonry you can get basic engineering like i said within the first hour right the, the skill only takes the skill scroll to learn basic engineering takes exactly what was it 15 or 10 hewn log i mean that's 20 locks in a workbench easy peasy tailoring took a little bit more work you need to get hides but again you could have made a butchering table or had somebody make you a butchering table um and then butchered them without the skill to get five hides five fur that's like five rabbits it's like five elk or five bison and then this is just scythe plant fibers okay so that's tailoring basic engineering in a nutshell good to know all right let's get on to the next stage now it's going to be mason and mining so let's go over to our future mine at this point i want to show what a mining or masonry start would look like if you are in a multiplayer world or single player right in single player in in low collab you can actually pick up three skills right away you would probably pick up carpentry masonry and mining or you could do you know carpentry mining and then save that third skill maybe for basic engineering or something along those lines so you can make the big wood carts so here we're overseeing where our mining operations about to start and we're going to go ahead and jump in uh, pick up the skills and then start digging to make our mine to get to bedrock and the reason why i want to get all the way to bedrock is to manage tailings because we are going to start smelting we need that iron asap and you're going to mine a lot of iron in the grasslands you're going to find it it's a different look and feel than it was before in the last patch so it's good to know what iron looks like which i've gone over before and um you know how to essentially make a proper tailings storage as well as we're leveling up mining that way and getting a lot of resources in the meantime so right now we can't mine this dang granite so let's go ahead and pick up we're gonna pick up mining wow and we definitely want to pick up mortaring so now we can make mortared granite limestone sandstone mortared stone pitch of all types grind sandstone or granite to sand uh, bakery oven bloomery which we need for smelting kiln for glass and mills which we're going to need for cooking as well stone braziers and stone braziers are really tough to use at this point um because they burn a lot of fuel for a minimal amount of skill point i mean one skill point and then pots every room should probably have two to three pots in it for extra skill points when you're playing in multiplayer and the server and the collab is you know that is crazy set in it you know my, my xp multipliers are ridiculous when it's not as as high as these and it's more it's lower you want to have as much as many skill points as you can from your house but anyway now that we have this mining skill we still can't break this granite with a stone pick but that's okay because we got an iron pick to break this granite now we actually have to keep we have to keep the stone pick on us let's get rid of the bow and arrows we're not going to be using them right now i brought a workbench with me uh got my new big old cart over here look at this cart 12 slots 2000 kilograms compared to small wood cart that has the same as a wheelbarrow which is eight slots 1400 kilograms so big old mining cart ready to rock start taking some stone so now let's use oh baby Oh, already leveled up mining. Level two. It's gonna go pretty quickly when you have a 400 or 399.4 multiplier. But we have this granite. Oh, so nice. And I'm just gonna dump it off right into the big cart. Let's roll this bad boy down. The plan is going to be we're going to mine down a level. Probably. Oh, what's that? Is that iron or sandstone? 
well, that's the regular sign sun. So we're probably gonna go down two ramps, right? So this is one ramp, two, three ramps down total, and then turn towards the grassland under the tomato farm. And that should be a great place for us to go. Now that we start leveling up our mortar in, um, I actually just picked up the masonry table and moved it for the Wainwright because I picked up the talents uh, off camera, completely forgot, but let's just go over them really quickly. So uh, level three, I picked up parallel processing because you're almost always going to have two, three, four mortar and tables working um, <clears throat> in the same room, in the same area. And then frugal workspace because I actually want to reduce the requirement for a mortar and table from 0 0.2 to zero, zero. Still gonna need a 25 meter free volume in the room, but that makes it so instead of having to have this little room, which I had set up before, for the first mortar and table to level it up, uh, making some sand for pitch, now I can leave this little room for a Wainwright table to queue up. What we wanna make is stone ramps. There's no reason for me to use uh, dirt. Oh, made one ramp. There's no reason <clears throat> Let's make a hundred. Actually, ninety-nine now that we made one. There's no reason for me to use dirt ramps anymore. I'm not going to need them. I'll get rid of these eventually. And the reason why we make stone ramps instead of stone roads is simple. When you when you make stone roads, they stack to ten, and they car they're carried. When you make stone ramps, they stack to a hundred in your inventory or storage chest and they weigh zero and then you place a ramp down and i'm going to show you guys in a bit but you place a ramp down you hammer the ramp into four road pieces and that is the most efficient way i think and a lot of people think of getting stone roads and ramps out into the world to give you that speed boost with a wood cart with a truck before you get asphalt now, I leveled up mining as well. Mining is leveled up, <clears throat> and I picked up my talents already. Well, actually, I'm still missing a little bit of level seven. But first one was the choice between increasing the, the tier of the related tool by one or reducing calories. Don't have to worry about calories. So increasing the tier of related tools by one. Now I can use my stone pick on granite, on limestone, as well as sandstone and shale awesome i can save my iron tool i already used quite a bit of it because it requires iron bars to repair and i want to iron for um the other stone the nice it doesn't break basalt yet basalt is essentially a steel pick um required so i think right i think it's iron plus level one i guess it's a steel tool i guess i can break basalt to level three mine with an iron pick We'll have to check it. I haven't run into any basalt just yet. And then the level six talent is mining sweeping hands or lucky break. Lucky break and sweeping hands work together so well that if two of you or a couple people playing together, you should be absolutely taking one over the other to work collaboratively. So lucky break is where you no longer get these yellow large chunks. But sweeping hands, as you can see my spam in my spam in my chat, is the ability to AOE pick up like that. Man, I, I'll take that any day over Lucky Break. It is such an amazing tool. And you know what? I'll, I'm not using, well, I'm using 1.67 calories for every sweep, for every uh, hit from my, for every action, essentially, from my mine with a stone tool so calorie usage is completely broken at the moment now why did i build this little hewn log wall and entrance because i needed a volume of 50 to make my masonry tables work now let me see let's just crack in here really quickly to show you why i like frugal workspace for mason let's go ahead and Crack that one. Any large chunks I need to pick up? Yep, missed that one. Good. Now I can stuff two masonry tables and, well, 
they should have no requirement, right? Oh, is it because I don't own where it's currently where it's currently located? Let's see. Once I own it, claim the property. Did I do something wrong? Lowers the tier requirement for related tables by 0 0.2. Okay. Still says I need a room requirement of 0 0.2. All right, let's see. Maybe if I re-log, it'll fix the problem. So after a quick relog, it fixed our problem. Masonry table is working and active, should not need a claim. Let's pick up our claim paper again. We don't need it, we're in single player. Perfect. Now we have our masonry tables able to work due to the frugal workspace in this environment. All right, we have the room volume for it. And the tier is 0.11. And due to frugal workspace talent, this is working. So the plan is we're going to start feeding these masonry tables to create sand, to make pitch, to make stone ramps. At the same time, now that we're level 7, we're going to go ahead and cook some of the items I'm going to need right away. You know, something you guys should know while we're looking at it is a bakery oven is a unique kitchen item, furniture type bacon skill value three and it does not require power like a mill does a mill is another unique kitchen item that is a food prep item that consumes 75 watts and that requires mechanical power bakery oven is coal or burnable fuel right jewels from boards would be ideal for a bakery oven same as a kiln so you can have a mill you can have a bakery oven you can have um, a butchery table or kitchen or stove or cast iron stove. All of these items go into a kitchen. A kitchen should have higher SP, as you can see by my house values. I, my kitchens are higher SP because they can have a butchery table. They can have an ice box, a salt basket. They have more items and the early, early game. So pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start making. Now, I'm not making pulp pitch because I'm using my wood pulp for tailoring. Uh, so just think of my tailor as another player in a multiplayer world that I'm collabing with, and I'm just providing him pulp. But what I am going to do is I'm going to grind sandstone and granite to sand. We're going to go ahead and queue 100 sandstone, queue 100 granite, and we're going to start making our pitch. Just over queue it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now let's go ahead and link... Well, actually, what am I doing? I have two tables for a reason, right? So we're going to leave this sandstone, cancel granite. Let's link it to the ramps storage. Let's link it to the stockpile. And I don't want to link my minecart just yet. But we'll go ahead and take that stockpile as well. I don't want my minecart... Now, if I put something in my minecart, I want it to be protected. And look, stone ramps are being made already. Let's do the same here. Let's do 100 granite to sand. And over Q pitch. I want my pitch to go first. And let's link it the same way. Ramps. And one, two. Beautiful already using up my granite and then limestone you're going to save limestone because you actually need it for quick lime which goes into steel so save some of your limestone unless you're making mortared limestone which is the prettiest mortared in the game really nice but here we go we have this up and running now and we're going to go ahead and start working on the turn here so this is the third ramp that's going to go down and then we're going to start working on the turn towards the tomato farm in the east direction.